Hey guys, in the last six months I've helped quite a lot of people through the Discord. Discord linked in the pinned comment by the way. We have stutters and general performance issues within Escape from Tarkov. In this video I will share some of the most common fixes for stutters and performance issues for Escape from Tarkov. I try my best to keep this video as simple and short as possible, so let's get started. First step is something a lot of people overlook, and that is checking if their hardware runs with, within specification. If your hardware isn't running correctly, then you don't have a solid base to work with. Hardware running too hot can result in a performance loss, as they will lower their clock speeds as things heat up. You can use these programs shown on screen to check the clock speeds, temps, and if your RAM is running at its correct speeds. There are three main tools you can use to check up on your hardware real quick. Hardware Info 64, CPU Z, and you can use plain old Task Manager. In Hardware Info 64, you can see all the clock speeds here of your cores. Go down a little bit, you can check up on all your temps. Uh, now you want to check up on temps during gaming, of course. Um, as you scroll down, there's also a memory tab in here you can use. And if you go all the way down, there will be a section temperature, memory temperature, etc. Now. As we move over to ZPU-Z, this is a quick tool you can use to see if your memory is running at its correct speeds. Um, if your speeds are not showing up correctly here, go into BIOS, enable XMP or Expo if you haven't. Uh, you can also use Task Manager to check up on your memory real quick. Task Manager will not always show this correctly, so I highly recommend using Hardware Info 64 for this. Update Windows. This might seem like the most simple step in this whole process, but this is very important, especially for Intel chipset drivers that come with the Windows updates and all necessary files for one of the next steps in this video. Removing programs like Logitech G-Hub, Corsair IQ, or Razer Synapse, or any RGB related programs, etc. can cause stutters in Escape from Tarkov. Consider uninstalling these types of programs as a troubleshooting step. Reinstall these programs if they didn't end up causing any issues for you. In this next step, we want to open up the command prompt as admin. You can open start and type cmd. Right click, run as admin. Now we're going to use a file checker to repair any possible corrupt files in Windows. In order to do this, you type sfc space slash scan now. Now you want to leave this running till it's finished. Uh, this might take up to 5 minutes depending on your system. There are mainly 3 outcomes after you run this scan. The first one, as you can see, um, there were no violations found. If this is the case for you, you can skip to the next step. The second outcome is if it found corrupt files and it was able to repair them. If this was the case, you can now reboot your PC and you're all good to go. The third outcome is if it found corrupt files and Windows was unable to repair them. In this case, you want to run the following command line. I will leave this in the description below. Run this and it will try to restore any corrupted files. After it's done, you can simply reboot your PC and you're all good to go. You can resolve major stutter issues by simply removing and installing latest chipset drivers. This step is mainly for AMD CPU users. So far I have not seen chipset driver related issues for Intel CPU users. First, for, uh, for AMD users, you want to right click on start and go to apps and futures. Now, I'm on an Intel based system right now, but right on the top it should say AMD chipset drivers or something along those lines. You want to click on the dots and un uninstall this completely. Now after you completely uninstalled the chipset drivers, reboot your PC once and go back in Windows. After you have rebooted your Windows, we want to install the latest AMD chipset drivers. We go to Google and we Google AMD chipset driver. Now you want to click on the top link and I want to scroll down slightly. We don't want to use the automatic detection system from AMD. Now below here you can click on chipsets. Now whatever chipset you have you select here. I'll use AM4 as an example. And then here you want to check what motherboard you have. So in this example, I will use a B550. And then you click Submit. Here you click what Windows version you have. And right here you will download the top download version. During the installation of this download, leave every option selected during the installation. After the installation is finished, reboot your PC and you're done. In this next step, we want to completely wipe our GPU drivers. For this, we can simply use a program called DDU, or Display Driver Uninstaller. 
DDU will remove everything GPU related and will reset your settings you may have applied before in the NVIDIA control panel or in AMD's adrenaline software for example. If you have settings you want to save, make screenshots of them now before you completely wipe everything. I'm on a based NVIDIA GPU driver right now, so if I wanted to do this, I go to the right, select device type and click GPU. As you can see, NVIDIA will show up and if you have AMD, you can obviously select AMD and if you have an ARC Intel card, you can select that. After you selected that, you can simply click clean and restart and the system will completely wipe the GPU drivers and your PC will reboot. After you have rebooted back into Windows, we want to install the latest drivers, of course. So for NVIDIA, you want to just Google NVIDIA drivers. I like to go to the second link in here, advanced driver search. Here you select uh, your GPU. So for me, it's a 4080 Super. I'm on Windows 11. Click search. And the top one is the latest game ready driver. Now, if this driver version has known issues, you can always go back here and install an older one. Now, if you made your choice on what to download, you can simply click here, click download and just follow the installation steps like any driver install. For AMD drivers, you want to Google AMD GPU drivers and go to the top link again. Here, you scroll down a little bit and you go to graphics. Here, you select what GPU you have. I'll use Radeon RX as an example here. And then I'll use 7000 series. And then if you have a 7800 XT, for example, you click on that and you click submit. Now on this next page, you want to click what Windows version you have. I'll use Windows 11 as an example. Now here you want to pay attention. You don't want to download the top link as this is the auto detect and install. You want to go for the latest driver for a manual install. You click download and it will download and you just follow the installation steps like you normally would. If none of the previous steps have helped you, then you can try the following things. I will go quickly through most of these. First, check the power plan in Windows. As default, this will be unbalanced. And for most AMD based CPU systems, high performance or your AMD power plan that will show in here, make sure this runs on the highest power plan you can use. This will increase idle power usage, but this can fix stutters for escape from Tarkov. Now another thing you want to make sure is set correct is your page file. Now what I normally do is open the Windows Explorer and on the left right click this PC and go to properties. On the left side again advanced system settings. Click on settings. On the top go to advanced and on the bottom click on change. Now here you can see I've set my page file on my M.2 drive which is the fastest drive you have and I highly recommend you put this on the fastest uh, drive you have in your system. You can simply click on this, click on system menu size, and you're all good to go. Another thing that can fix stutters in Escape from Tarkov is disabling the full screen optimizations. Go to your drive where Tarkov is installed, go to the folder and right click escape from Tarkov.exe. Go to properties, go to compatibility. Make sure disable full screen optimizations is checked. Click on change high DPI settings and make sure override high DPI scaling behavior is checked on application. Press OK, apply. And you're done. Now this next little thing often doesn't work, but you can use it as a troubleshooting step. So what do you want to do? Right click on start and go to device manager. Now under system devices, you will see something called eye precision event timer. Right click this and disable the device. I can only recommend this as a troubleshooting step if you still experience stutters. If this does not help your stutters, please re-enable this. In this video, I will not go over every in-game setting, but I will quickly address one setting that can cause stutters. And this setting is texture quality. Texture quality can be the cause of stutters if you exceed the VRAM limit of your card. The game you're playing will attempt to use system memory to supplement this missing VRAM, which will in turn result in a performance loss and can cause stutters as RAM is much slower than VRAM. If you run out of RAM, then Windows will attempt to supplement the missing memory by using your page file we set up earlier, which will cause further performance problems. By lowering the texture quality in Tarkov, we can prevent this from happening. I personally recommend the following texture quality settings as such. If you have 6GB of VRAM or lower, use texture quality on low. If you have between 8 and 12 gigabytes of VRAM, use medium. If you have 16 gigabytes or more, you can use high. Keep in mind that Tarkov currently is not in the most perfect state. So VRAM spillover can still happen at any texture setting. It doesn't hurt to reboot your game every so often to avoid this. 
Hopefully this video was useful to you and if you're still experiencing issues and need help, you can join the Discord linked in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.